Well, hello there. Just want to let you know there's some news about the, my YouTube channel. And uh, YouTube have um, told me that I can now have membership on my YouTube channel. So if anyone wants to uh, <laughs> join up uh, and get notifications of early videos um, I've, and early community posts, I can do that. Um, yeah, I sort of may even make uh, miniature clips of videos that I'm going to put out, uh, just as little teasers, and put them on the community posts so you get to see those early. Uh, and all sorts of other perks. Um, yeah, so that's uh, something else to investigate, to go through and see what, um, see what they're actually offering. So I'll put a link in the description uh, of how to become a member if you want to. Uh, anyway, yes, um, on the on the Belfield front, so I've had a, quite a few more emails from these um, uh, uh One guy left a, a whole long uh, piece of vile um, <laughs> ranting on about me. And uh, anyway, once I got past the first first few seconds or third lines of what he was saying, is um, well, I deleted it anyway, so I'm not not even bothering to read it. So he, he probably spent half half the day writing that, and uh, I deleted it without even looking. Uh, anyway, um, yes, there are plenty of other new channels popping up. Um, in particular. There's one YouTuber, Tracy her name is, it's a rather funny sounding little Scottish lady uh, who's putting out quite some humorous content on Alex Belfield. So I shall put a link to her description, um, sorry, I shall put a link to her channel in my de description at the end of this video. And uh, so you can go and subscribe to her and of course tell her that I sent you. Uh, and then we we can build up a, a bigger community but yeah she's quite funny um, yeah so uh, on the on the health front scars are beginning to leak a bit now I think one of the, the stitches must start be starting to dissolve because this side uh, started to leak a bit last night yeah not very pleasant um, anyway so I've just put out a couple of videos three videos I think three parts of the videos which I've edited down because it, it would have been absolute hours if um, if I put the whole thing up um, but yeah we took the steam train out <laughs> old Boston he's puffing away as he, he just he just gets so excited anyway and he spends the entire day out panting um, some kind of I, I don't know why he, does, he, he starts when we're in the car so when we <laughs> it's like driving a steam train in the car and of course, when we're out and about, it's a steam train as well, which is quite funny. But yeah, I hope, uh, hope you get to enjoy the pictures of the dog. Um, I've got some, uh, uh, no more pictures at the moment, so, but I shall definitely be out at the weekend if I can to get some more photographs of the dog and uh, some of the uh, other things that are happening in the area. I've, I took the drone up as well. I took, uh, Went outside, bit of a bit of a disastrous first flight, um, but nothing um, nothing too disastrous. Um, yeah, no damage done, but yeah, I, I gotta gotta get used to flying a drone. Um, as I told you before, I'm a fully qualified RC helicopter pilot, aircraft pilot, and of course, flying a radio-controlled model. Uh, you tend to fly by sight, you you react to it. Um, whereas when you're flying a drone, you, you tend to look at the screen. But because it's so far away, you can't see exactly what it's doing. So you're looking through the screen at what's happening. And uh, of course that, to me, is absolutely nerve wracking, having to look through a screen to see what your aircraft is doing. Uh, it isn't, isn't second nature to me. So, um, yeah, uh, but there's a, a guy called Sean the Drone. I think I'll put a link in the description about him as well. Now he's uh, He's got the same drone as I've got, 
and uh, he is putting out a few tutorials um, so if you're interested go and have a look at him um, yeah I'll put a link in the description so yeah so there's a couple of new things there for us we got the membership uh, we've got Tracy to look at and we've got Sean the drone to have a look at if you're interested um, but yeah that's good and uh, oh yeah I've got to go for a blood test tomorrow oh, it's never ending well, I've reached 58 and it's, it's going, life seems to have gone off a cliff edge but anyway we'll see we'll see uh, anyway but um, you look at the, do a time check as I normally do it's half past five uh, it's getting a, it's getting darker now, isn't it? The evenings are beginning to draw in. I think we've um, definitely on our way into winter, and it feels a bit chillier as well. It's not that cold that I've had to turn the shower up. The shower's still at um, pointing down on the temperature thing, so yes, that's good. But it, um, someone must be at the door. The dog, the guard dogs decided to chirp up. He doesn't make a noise otherwise. That's the only time he makes a noise is when there's people. At the door so he gives us a good warning that people are there um, which is good because I don't miss any post <laughs> yeah, anyway right so he's gone quiet so Lady Sarah must be answering the door but uh, yep so that's about it then so um, well hope to see you in the membership if not doesn't matter you're still watching my videos which is all that matters all right anyway so catch you on the next one don't forget you can buy me a coffee if you want as well that's in the in the description as well it's in the bio actually um, but it'll also be in the description so if you wanted to buy me a coffee you can do that just to help fund my next outing really okay well that's about it i've rabbited it on for a good seven minutes and five seconds according to the screen there so yeah we'll see right okay catch you all on the next one bye then <laughs>